last place. It was uh, Belfort, South Dakota. Okay, was that a week ago? Okay, so we're somewhere in Wyoming. <laughs> What's the next place we come to? I believe Bender's Flats. Oh. Serve no Indians. I'm half breed. Served my father. He was white. Go on, get out of here. Hey, serve him. You looking for somebody, breed? No. Good. What do you do? Anything. Who told you to come here? Well, I heard you're not particular. I heard anyone can ride with you. Did you also hear that I threw a breed down a well last year with an anvil tied on his foot? Just in case he didn't drown, he wouldn't be able to crawl out. <laughs> what does that tell you, Breed? It tells me you like to hear yourself talk. Give him another one. Ain't seen you in a long spell. It's been about a year since you've been through here, ain't it? You're making some wide circles, Joy. Let's see you. You too. Got a loose shoe here if you want to take a look. Sure thing. Who's inside? Ah, uh, Doc Shabbat. Whole gang of them rode in here about three days ago. Some Indian joined them less than an hour ago. I don't think he's one of them. He isn't. I've been tracking him for 300 miles. Sounds personal. Yeah.
This Bender's Flats? Bender's Flats, that's right, where you are. Bender's been dead for some few years, though. Yeah. Town kind of died with him, I'm afraid. I'm sorry. Never know Bender myself. One-legged drunk, so they say. <laughs> Got himself caught in a flash flood. He had three fingers of whiskey still in his jug. <laughs> Unlucky <laughs> fellow, so they say. <laughs> sure. Name's Doc Shabbat. Y'all come far? I beg your pardon? Oh, I say, have you come far? Ah, oh, yes. Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania? Woo! <laughs> That's the right far piece from here, Bass, ain't it? <laughs> yeah. How come you folks are traveling alone and this far north? There was an outbreak of cholera about two weeks out of independence. We had to leave the train. A lot of people died. Would anybody object if we camped near here for tonight? What the hell you want to do that for? Hey, we got a perfectly good empty building right there across the street. You're all welcome to stay in. Oh. The woman and uh, your rug right there sweep out the spider leavings in the cooties. Hey, you'd be right snug. Oh, well, thank you. That's that's very kind. You're welcome to. Yeah, well, should we just ride on? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, thank I think you. that we have, we have uh, you know, so we'll just... Go on, Molly! them people's horses, Pa. Yeah, they're nice, ain't they? Look like Eastern stock. Maybe Kentuck bread. She has a powerful, heavy load to pulling on that wagon. We could get a side of money for them mules, too. We sure could. <laughs> I reckon this might be a pretty good deal. I reckon this might be. Woman's mine. Been a long time since I had me a woman that I could smell something of besides garlic and sweat. Duncan McCaskill. You are a mighty handsome woman, ma'am. This is my wife. I kind of figured that. She's still a handsome woman. Is there anything else we can do for you? I just rode in to see if you were partial to those two horses you used to have. Oh, well, what do you mean used to have? I don't have them anymore. I've been took. Tom, check the horses. A couple of fellas drove them out of here just before first light. They're gone, Pa. Our, our horses are gone. Who took them? The men you saw in that settlement you passed through yesterday. Why didn't you stop them? Hell, mister, they're not my horses. None of my business. But it's a serious offense, stealing horses. Folks generally make their own laws out here. You're gonna have to deal with those men. No, Duncan, I don't want you to. It's not worth it. It's just for horses, and we can get more. You don't go after those horses. They're going to come for the rest of your outfit. And your woman. They're calling you out. No, Duncan, please. There are too many. I don't want you to go. Please don't go. Susanna, try not to be frightened. 
Well, they're not on the horses. It's tied up in front of the saloon. Just waiting for you. How do you know so much about this? I mean, how do we know that he's not one of them? You don't, ma'am. Captain. Duncan. One of them wears a bowler hat. Keep your rifle on him. If you have to shoot, shoot to kill. The wounds won't impress them. They've all been shot before. Sit down. Sit down. I'll handle it. Better bring your mules up, boy. Have this wagon ready to roll if your old man comes back. Yes, sir. You mean when he comes back? No, ma'am. I mean if. Are you his woman? He's my husband. I asked if you were his woman. Yes. I'm his woman and his wife, and proud of it. Well, if you don't come back, you're going to have to make a choice. It's me or them. Telling me what you're doing, mister? Thank you for holding them for me. They must have run off in the night. Your horses, you say? How do we know that? Those horses just come wandering in here. We figure to keep them. What do you say, Dobbs? Yeah, I figure we ought to keep them. That makes two of us. No, it makes three of us. This just ain't right. <laughs> you can't come walking in here and pick yourself out a couple of good horses and then Ride on out like they were yours? Uh, can I just ask, is, is there a, a preacher in town? A what? A, a preacher, you know, a, a man of the cloth. A <laughs> preacher? <laughs> well, yes, I, I just don't like to think of anybody dying without benefit of clergy. Hold it, Red. See where he's got that gun aimed at. These are my horses, and I'm taking them. Come on. woman of that boy. When you and Red made off with them horses this morning, did you see any other tracks? We never had no call to be looking for tracks. You said bring them horses in, we brung them horses in. Damn it, somebody's with them, that's for certain. Ain't no pilgrim woman or boy either gonna be doing any shooting like that. Oh, take the horse on. Come okay? on, take him. Come on. But we have to get out of here. Yes, we do. We have to get out of here right now. Where's that stranger? He left right behind you. We heard shooting. Well, that must have been him. There's a couple of men dead back there. The team switch, Pond. We're all packed up. Oh, good thinking, Susanna. Not mine. Okay. It was his thinking. He said if you brought the horses back, that we should get moving fast. Then let's get moving fast. Tie them on, Tom. Come on. <laughs> There you go. Thanks, Mom. Okay, Mule, go on now.
Toad. They killed my boy. He was my only son. Somebody get a shovel. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about all of that. I had no right to bring you up here. I had no right at all. Oh, that's not true. No, it's not. We, we discussed this thing together, you no, and I. but Susanna... In fact, we all, we all took part in the decision. And the decision that we made was that this was the best thing. I know. It's easy to make a decision like that when you're in a comfortable sitting room. You're not facing anything. Out here, we're face to face with it. Duncan, did you aim your rifle right at the man with the bowler hat? Dead center. Would you have shot him? No, I kept thinking. You know, if I shoot him, then, then I'll be dead. But you went in anyway. But I had to go in. I had no choice. I had to go in. Did the gunfighter shoot the horse thieves? No, 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 no. That man is not a gunfighter, Tom. I bet he is, just like in the dime magazines. You know, no. what you read in the dime magazines is not real life, and these are just stories. Yes, it's, it's just pretend. Smart observation. Folks ain't where they used to be. They're normally gone. <laughs> and we don't know anything. Nothing. We know where he done his shooting from. Well, now, what's that tell us, Doc? It tells me he can put a bullet in a man's head at 300 yards. So what? There's six of us again, one of him. Well, there's eight of us this morning. Think positive, boy. Them pilgrims have got four good mules. They got two fine horses, and they got a heavy loaded wagon. And a woman. I'll tell you what, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if they're carrying gold, heavy as that wagon is. There's only one thing I want off that wagon. Are we going after them or not? Yeah, we're going, Red. But we're going to go nice and slow, because I ain't riding into no headshot. Mother was born on this bed, and so was Tom. This is our home. These things are precious to us. Perhaps a man like you can understand that. No, I reckon not. We'll take good care of man. We'll get it all loaded again. Okay, well, I'll help you. Here, Tom. Wait. Please be careful with the rocker. Yes, ma'am, the rocker. Got it.
little more. Almost. It's on. Back. You got a damn good woman, McCaskill. Yes, sir. Damn fine. Well, as you, I'd hook up that team and leave about half of these priceless heirlooms laying right here. Sir, you've helped us. You saved my life, and, and I shake to think what would have happened to my family if you hadn't. I have to ask you to be careful how you talk about my wife. Damn, man, look at her. Don't you think she's a fine-looking woman? Yes, I think so. And you can think so. I just wish you'd stop saying it. You can't, you can't put that in there. You, we, ha we have to put those pieces in first. Get into the Red Rocks and find a draw to make camp for the night. He just assumes we'll do what he says. Because he knows we need to. get into this country, the less likely it'll be somebody will come along and step into what's left of them. Who? All I want to know is how we're going to split up the goods. Dobbs, take a ride up there and have a look around. We'll wait here. Oh, hell, Doc. Why don't you send a breed? Would you go up there? Can you see the man's busy? Hey, now, wait a minute, mister. Should have sent the breed. Hey, I got no quarrel with you. I don't know you. Hell, I ain't even ever seen you before. <laughs> there really ain't no call for this. Wonder why it is the men who plead for mercy never give it.
we're going to split up the goods. Anybody want his boots? Are you going to get down and join us, or are you just passing through again? I would like to impose, ma'am. Yes, sir, McCaskill, you are a lucky man. She can cook, too. You think they're still following us? You're damn right I do. I think we're just sitting back, waiting. Wait for you to get bogged down somewhere so they can have you dead to rights. Folks got a lot to learn. I think you'll find we're good pupils. I ain't running no school here, McCaskill. Oh? You keep your eyes open and watch what you're about, and if you live long enough, you'll learn. Pardon me, but we don't even know your name. Names don't count for much out here, ma'am. Called the Dark Stranger of the Prairie. Name's Valian. Con Valian. Where are you from? Hereabouts. Son of a mountain man and a Blackfoot squaw. Your mother was an Indian? That's right, boy, a Blackfoot. But, and that makes you a. a half breed. Well. Folks better stand guard tonight, at least until first light. When the sun comes up, you should already be on the move. Don't light that fire again tonight. You're not going to stay here with us? I try never to be where I'm thought to be, ma'am. You folks ought to try doing the same. If Shabbat's outfit catches up with you, you'll all be dead. All except for you, ma'am, and you'll wish you were. Why do you like to scare her? God damn it, man, those men are something to be scared of. Duncan, maybe the worst they'll do is take everything we own. No, the worst they'll do is kill you. Oh, sir, it ain't the worst. Huh? Huh? Hmm? What if those men come in Mr. Valiant's not here? I'm here. Yes, sir. I'll water the mules. I, I hurt Pa's feelings, didn't I? You didn't mean to. Maybe being sorry means you'll think next time before you speak. Mother? Yeah? Is it wrong to wish my Pa was more like that man? Got somebody with them? I don't know. There's no fire, no movement. Well, how do you know they're in there? The wagon, the stock. If they were green pilgrims that don't know nothing, I'd think this was a setup for an ambush. Hell, that pilgrim and his woman and kid don't know nothing about no ambush. Well, somebody sure as hell does. Son of a bitch was probably born in an ambush or worse. Let's just go on in there and take them, Doc. <sighs> you ain't thinking this through, Hank. <laughs> We know the Pilgrims got a rifle. It's a repeater. We don't know whether they got other guns or if the woman and the boy can shoot. 
And if there's somebody with them, then they can all shoot. Doc, maybe I ought to go in by myself. Just kind of see where they all are. Especially the woman, huh, Red? Go on. <laughs> go on. Walk on in there. We hear a shot, we know you bought the farm. <sighs> you dumb son of a bitch. Did he hurt you? No! You did real good, Mrs. McCaskill. Real good. Duncan. Well, let I him sleep. I... Let him sleep. We're not going to try anything else tonight. Because of what I did. That and they know I'm around. That makes them nervous. I still don't understand why you didn't wake me for my watch. Mr. Valiant said I didn't need to. Valiant was here during the night? Well, I don't think he's ever really very far away. If I'm going to stand watch with you and Tommy tonight, I think I need something more dependable than a stick. 
You're not supposed to do anything. You're just supposed to wake me. Yes, but what if I can't wake you? I mean, what if there's not enough time? What, what do you mean, what if you can't wake Duncan, I want you to teach me how to use your rifle and your shotgun. Is this you talking or Valiant? through with that damn war, I promised myself I would never again be responsible for the death of another human being. One does what one has to. I now realize that this country is not just filled with nice, well-mannered people. Back east, we had laws to restrain them. Out here, we have nothing. We have no choice. I have no choice. Go see if the son of a bitch can talk yet. Hey, Red. Red. We'd uh, kind of admire to know what happened to you before we went on. That woman. Red? You saying the woman done this to you? She meant to kill me. said the woman done it to him. Go away. Yeah. Well, I don't believe it. Ain't no way a damn little snit of a woman's gonna do something like that to a big man like Red. No. Well, I'll tell you what, Doc. Why don't you just walk over there and call him a liar to what's left of the rest of his face? Why don't we just give it up, Doc, huh? What's the matter, boy? Are you homesick? Oh, I ain't homesick. I just... You know, you've got a poor man. spirit, son. I think your mama must have had weak blood. I'll tell you where we made a mistake. We thought they were going to be easy. Because of that, we got three dead and one stove up. Pilgrims didn't shoot your son. It was him, and he watches us now. What do you mean? What he's saying is we better get him first, else he's going to pick us off one by one, just like he's been doing. Well, let's find the son of a bitch. Come on. You ain't leaving me for crow bait. Can't ride. None of you's going nowhere till I can. This is my brother. He's the handsome one. He's a lieutenant in the Seventh Cavalry. That's General Custer's regiment. I know, boy. This is the new house he and his friends are building for us. It's west of Fort Kearney at the foot of the Bighorn Mountains. John's letters made the West sound so romantic, beautiful. Opportunities. Duncan and he are going to raise cattle together. We're going to supply meat for everyone west of the Mississippi. Well, that's pretty comfy. You folks ought to be real happy up there if we make it. What do you mean, if we make it? What else, Mr. Valian? Something you're not telling us. There's an Indian with him. What tribe? He's a Ute, boy. What makes him so special? I didn't say he was special. But he is, isn't he? He's a good tracker. What else makes him special? He led a raid on a Blackfoot camp. He killed a lot of women and children, including my mother.
that company. What company? Indians. What? Where? You got any guns besides that rifle? Shotgun. Boy, you get in the back with that shotgun and let the barrel peek out where they can see it. Miss McCaskill, pick up that rifle and push comes to shove, you use it. What are we going to do, watch? I'm going to watch you. Miss McCaskill, hand me your Bible. A Bible? You want me to throw it at them? I'm going to watch you preach. What are you talking about? I'm not a preacher. I, I preach to the earth, to the sky, to the grass, and to the Sioux. I look like a fool. The crazier they think you are, the safer you're going to be. Indians don't see any point in killing crazy people, even white ones. Now go on. All right, here they come. Uh -huh. Start preaching, McCaskill, and make it good. All right, all right. Um, uh, now, these, uh, these are the names of, of the children of Israel, um, which came with, he came with, with Jacob. Louder! Uh, Reuben, uh, Reuben, Simeon, Levi, and, J and Judah. Uh, which came into Egypt. Louder, McCaskill! And all the souls that came out of the loins of Jacob were 70 souls, but Joseph was in Egypt already. Joseph died, and all his brethren, and all that generation, and the children of Israel were fruitful and increased abundantly and multiplied. Multiply. Let us deal wisely with them, uh, lest they multiply and it come to pass uh, that uh, when there falls, fall, falls, falleth out any war, they also Anita. assign it and, uh, and, uh, and them so you. get them up. And fight against wait, us, wait, wait, wait. you'll freak them with the burden, and you know. they will put them fair on the city. What? He says, shut up. It was your idea. He says, while well, hunger claws at his belly, you're making his head sick. Oh, I'm sorry. Lila lo want you yellow. O get you down to home. No. Lo want you below. Where you take on you below. What what did he say? To take to cha. O get you say who wo. Hey, talk to you. Go ahead. Go glock is new. O you take on kapo. Oh, talo, need you tell lo. Uh-huh. What's tell lo? Says they're hungry. They want food. Oh. We don't have much. McCaskill, that ain't horsehair hanging on that spear. It's scalps. Susanna, uh, would you pass down that haunch of venison, please? Tom, get the meat. It don't get chica la pill. To which a yakiza pihuo. Lokoto oyateki, a hielo. Shun kokichita, kit apelo. No, prehihanska, no kutelo. Oh. Here you are. Uh, would you like... Um, <laughs> Thank you. Did good, McCaskill. All right, Susanna. Yes. What is it, Valiant? What did the Indian tell you? He said that all the Plains nations came together at the Little Bighorn. Custer's dead. He said that all the men in Custer's regiment are dead. Do you believe that? I believe those scalps, Ms. McCaskill. John.
Sorry about your brother. So you figuring on turning around and heading back for Pennsylvania? Nothing to go back to. We sold our house, sent the money to John. Everything we own is in that wagon. Then you're going on. I don't see we have a choice. There's always a choice. Yeah, maybe. Well, whatever direction we take, we may still have those men to face. I'd say so. There are six, right? There are five. Maybe only four. What do you mean? You killed one? What about the other one? Susanna, what has this got to do with you? Susanna! I didn't shoot anyone. You didn't shoot anyone? What did you do? Did you knife him? Strangle him? What? I hit him in the face with a stick. What? And then I beat him. And where was I during this battle? Maybe she didn't figure you could handle it. You shut up! You're encouraging this violence! No, Duncan! You got your rifle to go back and get our horses and you pointed it at a man. Mr. Valiant made you do nothing. I know, I know. And I know this could have been stopped. How? Diplomacy, barter! Oh, yes, and then we'd all be the dead! The steps that are taken after a war, after 20,000 men lie dead! And the fools that led them realize those are the steps they should have taken in the first place! Now, I'm one of those fools because I listened to you! So now, instead of our horses, these men want our blood! Let me tell you something, Lacasco. You've been acting like the meek are gonna inherit the earth. The meek ain't gonna inherit nothing west of Chicago. Now, if you're serious about getting where you're going, then dump what you're carrying on that wagon. I'm through with your advice, Valiant. No more. Bye, boy. Mister, I want you to stop making my pa look bad in front of my mother. Is that what I've been doing? Yes, sir. Even if you don't mean it, but I think you do. Oh, boy, I can't be nobody but me. Maybe when my mother's watching, you don't have to be so much you. Sticking up for your old pa, huh? Yes, sir. You listen to your folks, boy. They'll learn you right, except about Indians and wild country. And you listen to me. Going hunting at dawn. You want to come along? I've never hunted. Well, I never had either till the first time. Oh, 
just got to hurt. <laughs> it hurts me just to look at it. I tell you what, old buddy, we got to be on our way. Not without me, you're not. Now, Red, be reasonable. Don't come no closer, Doc. You think that I'd harm you? Hey, that hurts my feelings. Step aside so I can see them others. Red, I'm the best friend you Step can. aside! Where's the engine? Where'd it go? Hey, you! You! <laughs> Isn't that just like an engine? They're never where they're supposed to be. <laughs> mm. I wonder where he went. What about your pa, boy? Is he in the war? He was a sergeant in the Union Army. He was a hero. Is that a fact? Yes, sir. He killed a lot of rebels. He got shot at some place called Gettysburg. He was hurt bad, and Ma said he changed him. Changed him how? Well, before the war, Pa had a bad temper and got in lots of fights. He doesn't do that now. But if you think my pa's not tough, you're wrong. Tough, huh? As a nail, mister. <laughs> Study when you're hungry. 